don't think that you have to get yourself all fixed up before God will have anything to do with you. You're not, God's not surprised by our behavior. He knew all about us before he invited us into relationship with him. And the word actually says that before the foundation of the world, Christ already knew us and chose us and called us unto himself. So you don't have to get all fixed up before you go to him. He accepts you the way you are. He will never love you any more than he does at this particular moment. But the more you love him, the more you love him, the more you're going to want to do what's right. The more you know who you are in Christ, that you've been made right with God through the blood of Christ, the more you're going to want to do what's right. God never tells us to do anything without giving us the equipment to do it. He wouldn't tell us, don't do this and do this if it were impossible for us to do it. So today I just want to talk to you from a few different angles about this whole problem of sin because we know it is a problem and there's no point in us ignoring it. How can we effectively deal with sin? So we're going to go back to something that I said about intimacy earlier in the weekend. I said that the two things that I believe that we need to have intimacy with God is truth and an investment of time. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. There's a way that he prescribes for us to walk in. There's a truth that he wants to reveal to us. And if each one of us will receive that truth for ourselves, about ourselves, then we will have that life, that real God kind of Zoe life that he's talking about. 